fact, I won't actually tell you anything about how to design antennas or why they work this way, but um, what I will tell you is that all antennas have what's called an antenna pattern. In other words, that is the uh, the relative signal strength in each direction on transmit and receive. reason why this is important is because uh, we will be talking about, uh, it will become important later on when we talk about how cell phone systems are designed. So I'll give you three examples. This will be figure four in your notes. example I'm going to give you are isotropic dipole and sector. And uh, and rather than try to uh, embarrass myself by drawing 3D diagrams, what I'm actually going to give you is side view and top view. So an isotropic antenna, the word isotropic means the same in all directions. So as you would expect, side view, this is the antenna, side view strength. So what I'm plotting there is strength with respect to angular position. So in other words, if this is a receive antenna and a signal comes in from this direction, I'm plotting its relative strength. So there it's the same in all directions. From the top, it's the same in all directions. Basically, be a sphere. In other words, from every direction, it looks the same. There is actually no real physical antenna that's isotropic. Um, actually, that might not be true, but it's it's uh, it, it is generally very hard to design truly isotropic antennas. But for convenience, we often assume that antennas are isotropic. The dipole antenna. That's your like I said. That's your. Uh, Grandma's rabbit ears. Um, dipole antenna looking from the side. I'll do the top first. It's actually uh, from the top, it's isotropic. So if you're looking uh, to the side of the rabbit ears and they're, they're laid out sideways like this from your perspective. Um, uh, your signal strength from any uh, from any direction is excuse me, I'm not correct. They're laid out like this in the side view. What you would be seeing from the top view is the point. So if you're looking straight down the rabbit ears from any direction, you have the same signal strength. And that kind of makes sense. If you if you if you think of the wire, it doesn't matter what angle you're looking at the wire from, it kind of looks like a wire. Uh, from the side actually looks like this. So if you're sitting right on top of the, if you're sitting right on top here, you actually can't communicate with the dipole. So um, this seems weird to some people. Uh, it seems like what you'd want to do is you'd want to take your antenna and point it at the receiver. But in fact, that's the worst thing you could possibly do. Uh, sector antenna, I won't draw one. But uh, if there's your side view, then a sector antenna will basically block out a sector, transmit strongly in that sector, and, and nothing anywhere else. And from the top, it would be something similar. It's a directional antenna, that's right. So this, these are, in some sense, uh, 
uh, from the top, these are uh, non-directional. This one is more directional. The reason why this is cool is you can have several antennas sitting on top of each other, pointing to different sectors. Like so, and they don't interfere with each other. So you can use the same frequencies on all those antennas and they won't, uh, uh, they won't cause trouble. And in fact, if you ever look at a cell phone tower, um, you can actually usually identify them because cell phones typically use three sectors. That, one like that, one like that. And usually, if you look at a cell phone tower, you will see a two element antenna facing this way, a two element antenna facing this way, and a two element antenna facing this way. Okay, so um, in order to understand why antennas behave this way, you have to take an electromagnetic course, but I just want to mention that antennas don't always transmit in the same direction. You can actually focus your antenna. 